Hi friends, let's start a business together. So my name is Alicia, I am 28 years old and I'm still trying to find my purpose in life. I love to create with just about every single medium out there from crocheting to cake decorating and content creation and now the polymer clay. So I named my store Coffee and Clover because sometimes we just need some coffee and good luck to get us through the day. At least I do. So come join me on my new adventure opening up an online store with my handmade cozy collectibles and let's see where this journey takes us. Now, I don't have a store built yet, so I'm taking you with me on the very start of our journey, creating our products. We are going to start off by making a little list of all the products that I want to add to the shop. So I want essentially to make five different figures and then five of each of them. It'll be a limited drop just because it's my first time ever making an online store and doing anything like this. So I just want to make small amounts just to see what people like and what they're into and if I'm in the right direction. So currently I have my bow sock bunny, my coffee squirrels, my blush pingus, and then my latte bear baths. I also have ducky leaf on the list, but I'm not entirely sure if I'm in love with his design yet, so we might need some tweaking. Okay, and now that we have our list, I am going to quickly run to Michael's so I can grab a couple supplies and just run some quick errands. Okay, so I just made it back home. It took a little longer than I thought because I didn't realize that the um, coupon for Michael's is online only. And so I placed an online order while I was there because I'm extra cheap so why not um and so i just waited around and like everyone says time is money but i have nothing but time at, right now anyway so i figured it's okay um that being said this week actually is a little busy for me because i have about two or three appointments um and then also another appointment and then it's my anniversary this week so a little busy but today i have nothing but time so and i'm so excited that i finally now I finally now have bought myself a little micro scale so I can actually weigh out everything. So glad that I finally invested in one of these because I really wanted to and I kept thinking about it and then I missed the day that this was on sale and it just made me really sad and demotivated so I just didn't grab it for the longest time but I finally decided I'll just grab it. So I did. I'm gonna get myself some coffee, maybe make some breakfast quick and then we will get started. Mm. But yeah, I kind of decided on some oatmeal and some coffee, so I'm gonna have that and then we'll go upstairs and work. Okay, so I'm all set up for the most part. I also popped myself some liquid Sculpey um, just to help glue things a little better. And then I found this pink journal that I have that I have not used yet. Um, it's a bullet journal, but I think it'll work fine. I got it from the dollar store. It's really cute. So yeah, I think I'm ready to start and then I have my scale. So we're good to go. Oh, and I also bought some eye pins to make my guys into little keychains. Okay, so we're gonna start off by making our little bow sock bunnies. 
So I first thought of this design because originally I actually wanted to make a sticker shop instead of a polymer clay shop. But one thing that has always been true to me is that I am just not good at art when it comes to pen and paper. I am someone who works best with my hands and so pivoting to polymer clay was definitely the move. Um, but during that journey of creating a sticker shop, I did end up creating this OC original character that I fell in love with and she is a little sock bunny. So I decided to bring her to life in clay. Okay, so I'm gonna stop yapping now so you guys can just enjoy the short little sculpting process. So originally I wanted to at least go until I finished a full figure, um, but I think for today I'm going to stop just because it's been about three hours. Um, but I've made four so far of the bases of our little sock bunny. So I have an appointment tomorrow, but after that maybe I'll probably paint these. Um, I did my best to try to get off all the dust because I just hate seeing dust. And that definitely took a lot longer than I thought. So yeah, I am starving right now. So I'm going to go eat and then I will finish these guys up tomorrow. <laughs> because it's very cold in my room <laughs> because it is October now and so I'm almost contemplating getting a little um, space heater just because I feel like that will be warmer but for now I put on a cardigan it's keeping me nice and warm um, so I think I should be good but I will say working with the clay when it is colder in here is a little tough and so I'm a little on the fence about it, um, but yes, for now, we are now going to get back to sculpting. Sculpting. I have a nice warm decaf coffee now, so I'll be able to stay warm. And yeah, we'll see what we can pump out. I think I'm going to work on making my squirrels. Even though I didn't finish my little sock bunnies yet, I want to work on the squirrels first because I feel like that'll give me more satisfaction of completing a project. Whereas 
these sock bunnies need to be painted and then they need to be um, reassembled and it's a lot more of a process. So let's get started. I always start off by using rubbing alcohol to clear off my surface of any little dust that might still be there. Currently I'm using Sculpey Primo for my clay, but I'm actually finding that it's a little tough for me to work with, so I'm hoping to find alternatives. And now I'm just conditioning my clay, but because I don't have a pasta roller, I do this by hand and try to mimic it. And my goodness, conditioning clay is probably just like the biggest workout for me. I'm hoping someday that I can budget getting the clay pasta roller, but until then, I kind of don't want to do that yet, just to prove to myself that it's not needed yet. Though I do believe in always investing back into your business is a good thing to do. And so hopefully in the future, um, if I do make any sales, that's probably one of my first go-to investments I'm going to invest in. I've said that word like a million times. To be honest, I never thought that I would fall in love with polymer clay, but the way that I have, it just allows me to bring out my creative freedom that I didn't know was still there. So, I just finished alcohol wiping all the dust off of these guys. I'm always so shocked at how much dust they have because when I'm conditioning the clay, Everything seems fine, there's no dust at all, but the second I put them in my hands, I don't know why I alcohol wipe my hands and everything, but they still get so dirty and dusty, so the second I roll them, it's just covered in filth. So I went through four different cotton swabs just cleaning these guys up, but they're all clean now. And so we will start on making their tails. So first, coffee break. One last thing that I also want to start budgeting and reinvest in for my business is a better vlogging camera because clearly these zoomed in shots are not the best quality but it does allow me to kind of have different shots as we sculpt. Uh, which is really nice. Speaking of sculpting, I am absolutely in love with these little coffee squirrels. I think they are so adorable um, and the process of just making them is so fun. Okay, so I went ahead and made little coffee cups and then their arms. And now they're all holding their little coffees. Originally I was gonna do like a closed like coffee cup to go with like a black lid. But then I thought because the face will be black that it'll just be like too much black on black. And I wanted a little bit of contrast. And then also since it's fall, I thought it would be cute to do brown because it's very on theme with everything else. Good morning! Um, so I have a doctor's appointment to go to, so I'm gonna be heading over to that in literally just like two seconds. But I just wanted to show you everything that I made yesterday now that the sun is back up and it's more natural lighting. And then after I get back from my doctor's appointment, I do have a lash appointment to do. But in between, I have probably 30 minutes. And so I'm hoping maybe I could get the faces on the squirrels. Maybe not, but we'll see. So, yeah! Look at them, with their little lattes. These guys still need everything. I should paint them today, 
This is originally what it was gonna look like, but I kind of don't like the arms on her, but we're gonna do that face on all of these guys. And I love that they're holding lattes. They look so much cuter that way. Cute. And then I don't think I'm gonna keep this hedgy or this pumpkin, but they were like concepts at a time. Cute. Love these. Okay, I just got home from my doctor's appointment, but it is 12.30, my appointment starts at 1, luckily it's just my aunt, so it's okay, um, and she likes to come early though, but I still need to completely set up, so we're gonna go do that quick. So I got my license to be a lash tech probably, it was in 2020, I think right before COVID hit, and so I actually didn't end up doing anything really with that license, but because I do have it, I like to do lashes for my family, mainly my aunt and my cousin, and any of my mom's friends that like to get their lashes done. So yeah, just another side of me. Also off topic, but under the blanket, there's a blue thing that you'll see. It's a heated vest and it keeps me so warm. I put it on my feet during winter because it gets so cold. It's the best. So I just finished my two lash appointments. I feel a little tired, but I'm going to take a quick little break and eat something. And then I will get to work on my clay stuff. And yeah, I just finished tearing down everything, so... Okay, so I just finished eating and changed back into my other clothes. I always wear all black when I'm doing lashes because one time I got the lash glue on my clothes um, and of course I was wearing white and like a super like light blush and so it ruined the clothes. Um, and so now I just make sure to wear black so that way if it does happen again, then at least I can still wear the clothes because you can't really see the glue. Um, but yeah, we're going to get started on the faces of all my little coffee squirrels so guys look what just came in i have the little boxes and then my bubble mailers i'm so excited i'm gonna see if i can print on these bubble mailers just to see if i could put my logo on here otherwise i'll have to buy a stamp but i'm hoping that it will run through the printer and then these boxes oh my gosh they're so much smaller than i thought like i knew that the measurements were about two by two by one but it's so tiny in person and so definitely my desk figures i'm gonna have to be very 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 cautious of just how large i make them so i learned this trick from uncomfy watching her videos that you can use a little post-it note to like help make the faces and stuff so i'm gonna try that out today Let's see how that goes Okay, our little ones are done. Okay, so I'm currently all ready for bed. 
but I kind of had the urge to start painting these guys because they do need to dry overnight too just to make sure the paint is extra dry so we're painting so I kind of made the executive decision to paint these before we bake them because I thought it would be easier so that's what's going on right now just finished three coats of the head time to do the body Painting the body was too difficult with the disassembled, so I had to disassemble him. Poor guy. Working on this one right now. And if they don't stick back, because sometimes with the acrylic it doesn't stick, I will use the clear liquid Sculpey. 